I would like to share with you the story of milk. My name is Joe North and my family are dairy farmers. Milk is a really important part of our diet, whether you drink it in your tea or whether you have it on your cereal or whether you eat it as cheese or yoghurt. I think everyone needs to know the story of milk and how we get milk from these cows in this countryside. In front of us now, we've got nearly 200 milking cows. So they're from the age of two, and the oldest one here is 12 years old. If you look underneath the cow, in between her back legs, you'll see what we call an udder. And that's where she keeps her milk. And at the moment, their udders are really full of milk, so they're really looking forward to coming into the milking parlour and giving us their milk. Years ago, we would have done the milking by hand. Someone would have sat on a wooden stool and gently squeezed each of the teats to release the milk into a bucket. Nowadays, luckily, we have the help of machines. OK, so we're inside the barn now and it's really, really quiet. I'm going to switch on the vacuum machine that helps us do the milking. So you've got two sounds. What you can hear is the low hum, which is the vacuum pump, and then the click, 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 which is getting ready to pump the milk around the dairy and into the bulk tank where it's stored. So for me, as a dairy farmer, these sounds are really a part of milking. Now we're in the milking parlour. A moment ago, it was really quiet in here. We just went and switched the pump on, and now it's really noisy. I can see 24 cows in front of me, 12 on each side. They've got their bottoms facing inwards so that we can get to their udders, which are underneath their back legs. For the next couple of hours, it's a really busy place with lots going on. You need to listen to David. He has a really close working relationship with the cows because he milks them twice a day, every single day. Hello, my name is David. My job here is to uh, milk. Well, when they first come in, we wipe six cows' teats with a dry paper towel. We wipe them for 60 seconds so it stimulates them to let the milk down. If we didn't wipe the teats, they would just keep hold of most of the milk put the uh, cluster on the cow. The clicky clicky sound will be the pulsation, grabbing a hold of the teat. If you look down there, you can actually see the milk coming out. So as you've been hearing, there's a real rhythm to milking. The sounds, the routine, happens at the same time, twice a day, and the cows really like that, and we have to be very careful to make sure we keep them in the same routine, otherwise they get quite upset. When you work with them every day, you see that they come in in the same order, they come in with the same friends, they form very close friendship groups as well in their herds. So cows are very sociable animals, and they like to be with their friends, and they also like to deal with the same people. So this is one of the great rhythms of the countryside and when you see black and white cows in the field you know that they're part of this rhythm. After the cows have been milked um, this is the bit they really look forward to. This is when they get what we call their ration and what other people would call dinner. So they're really enjoying a mixture of silage which is pickled grass, they've got wheat, they've got straw and it smells amazing and looking at them enjoying it, I think it tastes good as well. Before we finish the story of milk, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Here are our baby calves, and without our calves, then we wouldn't be able to do the process of milking at all, because it's our calves that mean the mums give milk, and then also once our calves are two years old, they then have their own calves, 
and they go into our dairy herd. So they're a really important part of the milking process. I love our baby calves, they're miniature cows and they're so friendly as well because we rear them by hand so they get to know humans and they're really, really friendly. At the moment, this one's sucking my fingers and she's got such a rough tongue and a really, really, really wet nose and it feels really, really slimy on my hands. She's quite noisy as well. She's, <laughs> she wants... She's talking as well. She wants her five minutes of fame. And they're all in a group. <laughs> they're all in a group because cows are very, very sociable. So from when they're first born, our calves are in herds, which are groups of cows. So they get to make good friends that they stay with them throughout their lives. So from me and my calves, I hope you've enjoyed hearing the story of milk. <laughs>